I want to put this video together to show uh, what the results are from trying to repair a busted panel that I have. Uh, it was out in a hailstorm and it pretty much got obliterated as you can see. And so I want to be able to see if I can take some kind of a uh, polyurethane and, and seal this up to see if it, it'll actually affect any of the uh, output parameters of the solar uh, panel such as open circuit voltage or short circuit current. So this is what I decided to use. I bought this at Lowe's. It's a Helman, Helmsman Spar Urethane uh, sealer. So it's clear gloss. I want to try that and hopefully uh, I'll get some decent results with the panel and the uh, urethane. So this is the nameplate of the solar panel. It's a 255 watt panel. Uh, the open circuit voltage is about 37.5 and the short circuit current is about, looks like 8.86. So this is what I'm basing all my measurements on. So one on. of the ways to measure a short circuit current is either using a meter like this, and I think it's max is uh, 10 amps, if I remember right, um, or to use a um, short circuit, which most people don't have, but another avenue is to use a shunt which is basically a calibrated short circuit so this shunt um, you can see here it has 100 amps at 50 millivolts so whenever you run 100 amps through this thing you should get 50 millivolts across the terminal so I'm going to use this shunt as a way to measure short circuit current instead of the fluke meter because I don't want to blow this out the fuses are somewhat uh, expensive um, just to make sure that if I go above 10 amps that uh, I, don't, I don't blow this thing. So I'm going to use this short circuit shunt and so um, if I get 100 amps again, 50 millivolts, if I get 50 milliamps, I'm sorry, 50 amps, I'll get 25 millivolts. So it's a, kind of a two factor. So we're going to give this thing a shot and see what that panel will pull for short circuit current. So those are basically the two indicators. Uh, open circuit voltage and short circuit current will kind of pretty much dictate if the panel is good or not. So if it has a low open circuit voltage under maximum sunlight or if it has a low short circuit current under maximum sunlight, it usually is an indicator that there's something wrong inside the panel. So I want to see if the panel is good and after I apply the polyurethane um, sealer if that affects the output of the panel uh, short circuit current wise and open circuit voltage. Okay this will be an attempt at restoring the solar panels. I got a kilowatt ETU meter here. It's reading about I don't know thousand watts per meter. Pretty cracked. I'm going to use some uh, urethane wax. I'm sorry, urethane sealer. Let's see how I can seal this. I'm going to keep this panel going. So, this is the open circuit voltage uh, before I applied any sealant whatsoever. And I have to say, my dumbass forgot to record the current. I actually put it on paper, but I forgot to make a video of it. So, you're going to have to trust me that. It was about 7 amps or 3.4, 3.5 uh, millivolts across the shunt. Alright, this is the application of the polyurethane. It went on really smooth, uh, sunk into all the cracks and crevices of uh, where the glass busted, and it applied really well. It was a really hot summer day. And so it, it dried up fairly quickly. Um, there's a little bit of, uh, what do you want to call it, ripple in there. Uh, it's not perfectly flat, but I mean, for what I need, I think it did an outstanding job. The glass is uh, seems somewhat more secure and doesn't make that crunchy sound when you pick the glass up. Okay, this is the first coat put down on the panel, and so. It seemed to cover most all the crevices and nooks and crannies. Uh, I put three coats down, so this is uh, one of three. Okay, this is the, after the first coat of shellac or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's the current shunt. And so 
I'm pulling about 3.4, 3.5 millivolts, which corresponds to roughly 7 amps. So I didn't see a big change in before and after. So a little bit later in the day, about two hours, uh, I took another measurement here. It looks like the uh, solar energy has gone up about 400 watts or so. And so it's also gotten hotter outside. And so as you can see, uh, one balances the other and it looks like I got a little bit of a voltage drop on the panel. So it's getting hot, it's heating up. All right, here's a final product. So what I didn't do on this polyurethane ceiling, I didn't aim it directly at the sun, you know, to try and get the maximum power point tracking and all that good stuff. I just wanted to see what the solar panel will produce with the polyurethane uh, ceiling on it versus not on it. So um, could it be more detailed? Probably. Do I want to waste all the time trying to figure out the best time of the day and all that good stuff? Not really. I just want to get something really quick together. You kind of throw out there, so if you got a busted panel like I did, you do have some chance of restoring it, assuming that all the, the solar cells work on the panel. So if you liked the video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll put some more stuff out similar to this.